In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a reading log with Google Forms. First, we come to Google and sign in. Next, go to forms.google.com and click on a blank form. From here, we can title it Reading Log and we'll give it our first question. So down here, we'll change this question to short answer and we'll put your, or how about just first name. We can continue adding questions by pushing this plus button and we want to know the title of, of the book. And we'll change this to short answer. It's already been done. And then we want to know the author. Author. Short answer. We'll just drag this one down to put that there. And then we want to know pages read. Short answer. Over here you can add all sorts of different things. You can actually add a picture if you want. You can add a video. You can add a whole section on something else, like a whole other page. Um, but for our purposes right now, we're just adding these different um, areas that we need for knowing our um, for our reading log. So first name, title of book, author, page is read. I think that'll do it for now. We'll just make that make it really simple, and we won't make anything required. And this one we don't need, so we'll throw it in the trash. Okay. Now we'll come over here to responses, and it's accepting responses. And if I click here, I can create a spreadsheet that will accept the responses for this particular um, reading log. We're almost done, actually, already. Um, we're going to collect email addresses. Came up here to settings to do that. I can, I'm can. i not going to limit it. They don't need to edit it after. They can edit. It doesn't matter. See summary of text, text and responses. No, let's keep that away. Uh, let's go back to settings and see what else we have. Presentation. Um, we can say your response has been recorded. And then if you're doing a quiz, you would use this section here. We'll push save. Okay. Now we'll change how it looks. I'm going to go with red. You could use an image here also. That also works nice. <clears throat> I'm going to preview it. And here's a preview of my thing. So email address. And then your answer. Whatever it is here. And then you can submit. So let's give it a try. Okay, so then in the response, my response has been recorded. Now I'm going to come over here to edit this form. I'm going to see if my response has been recorded. There it is. It's right there already. Okay, I actually like to be able to see my responses in a spreadsheet. So here I'll create create spreadsheet, and I'm just going to do an, a new um, spreadsheet reading. Since I already did this before, I'll just create like a test one reading log three in my case. And now the spreadsheet is being linked, as you can see down here. And if you go to your Google Drive, you'll be able to see that spreadsheet. At the very end, once we're done, spreadsheet link, we're good. We can send it. And here you'll see you can send this um, reading log to somebody via email. There is a link here. You can just have people, you can shorten it down. You can just have people go to this link and fill out the reading log. You can also embed it in a web page or a Google site. It's pretty useful. And then we also now have a spreadsheet that should have this in there. I'll go to Google Drive. So here's the spreadsheet. As you can see, it has the timestamp. It shows when I filled out this reading log, the email address, first name, last name, and all the other stuff that I added in. And as students end up filling out the spreadsheet, this will fill up. It's a really quick and easy way to um, do a reading log. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit techteacherzone.com.